Everybody and welcome back to the second session for our Keepsake virtual signing event for our artists today. We are so excited to have you. My name again is Lindsay Evans and I'm gonna be your host all day today. And like I said earlier, we are coming to you live from downtown Kansas City, Missouri at Hallmark headquarters. And we're actually in our crown room cafeteria here. Uh, this room has a lot of history for Hallmark, but it also has a lot of space. So we can space out and keep our social distance while we do these events today. So first, I've got some amazing artists sitting here with me and we're so excited you guys are here. So hello Nina Abe. Hi. Hi everybody. And Tom Best. Hey gang. Thanks for joining us. And Rodney Gentry. Hello all. So how are you guys doing today? Great. Good. Great. Good. Isn't it nice to like see each other in person again? It's been so long. I'm no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Rodney and I eat lunch together every day right in that table right over there. Oh, so, so you guys have been missing out on that yeah. for the last few months. Well, I'm glad we could, you guys could be here today and that we could be here with all of our viewers today. So first, we've got an exciting ornament that's releasing today, and it's this ornament sitting on all of your tables. It's the gingerbread carousel ornament, and this ornament is the signing event piece, and it is worked on by every artist in the studio, even a couple of our retired artists who just retired this year. So if you check out the comments below, there's gonna be a link where you can click on and see where you can get one of these for your own collection. And while you're checking out that that link below, maybe you guys can tell us what hand you had in this ornament. So we'll start with you, Rodney. Well, um, I did the, the reindeer, the sleigh, the moose, the horse. No. I, <laughs> I was like, wow, no, Rodney. No, I, I did one of the nutcrackers on here. It's one of the nutcrackers in the middle right here. I love it. How about you, Tom? <laughs> I did these what I'll call awning panels, these, uh, these ones that go around the roof line here. Such a pretty detail. And how about you, you, Nina? I did the polar bear. Oh. So the little short guy. He's so cute. 
So the whole ornament really like just turned out so nice. It's got so much detail. I really love this one. And I know you guys are gonna love it too. So like I said, check out the comments. There's gonna be a link where you can get one for your own collection. And speaking of comments, just like our last session, um, the more you're commenting in there, talk to each other, talk to us on the in the Keepsake Village, um, we're gonna be giving away some signed ornaments. Uh, the more you're commenting, the more chance you have to win. So make sure you're commenting and doing that. And then last but not least, we have some local clubs who worked so hard and put together some great entries to be able to win these signing events. And like I said earlier, we are so sad we can't be there with you in person. And so we wanna call out and shout out your clubs specifically. And so today during this session, we have two different clubs. It's the Spartanburg Keepers with Amy's Hallmark Shop in Spartanburg, South Carolina and also Gian's Treasures Hallmark Collectors Club with Gian's Hallmark out of Franklin, Tennessee. So some Southern, some Southern clubs. So congratulations to you guys because there's also gonna be a special giveaway just for you guys. And that's gonna be one of our signing event pieces. And it may look a little something like this on the bottom. So not just two signatures, but a whole slew of signatures from our artists in the studio. So make sure uh, we're gonna announce that at the very end of our Q&A. So make sure that you tell your friends, tune in and keep watching because one of your names is gonna be called by the end. So without further ado, how about we get into our Q&A? Are you guys ready? Sounds good. Yes. Okay, we've got some tough questions. All right. I'm sending some tough ones to okay. you, Rodney. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. We've got some really fun questions, actually. And Rodney, I will start with you. Okay. The first one we've got is from Catherine P, and she's from British Columbia, uh, or British Columbia, Canada. Mm -hmm. And she wondered, since you sculpted the Pokeball ornament, um, collectors want to know if you have a favorite Pokemon and why. <laughs> well, my favorite Pokemon is Tom. I love Pokemon. <laughs> uh, hey, every time he comes over to my desk, I have to poke him somewhere and <laughs> get him away from my desk. Uh, but my favorite Pokemon character is Pikachu. He's a cute one. He is a cute one, and my granddaughter loves him. Oh, I so love that. That's, that's why I, I like Pikachu. I love that. <laughs> okay, Tom, so next question is for you. And this is from, I love this question, by the way. This is from Michael Stokowski from Orlando, Florida. He had okay. some questions in our first session too. His question for you, Tom, is what is the wildest, best, or craziest thing a fan has given you at an event? I don't know if I know this either. Besides beer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Besides um, beer, yes. Besides beer, uh, beer caps. Um, People, people have found out that there is a giant beer wall around my, my cube upstairs, and uh, there's probably over well over 2,000 beer caps, all, all different. And so people have been bringing me caps. So that's very nice. But I had a gentleman from Tennessee um, carve me a, a guitar, like an ornament size. Wow. And, uh, oh, nothing crazier than probably beer bottles, but, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, God love them all. That's, uh, it's very kind. That's good. Okay, Nina, next question is to you. Um, and this is from Jean McDonald, and she is out of Brookfield, uh, Wisconsin. And she wants to know, um, as your mischievous kitten series continues, are you going to use any more purebred kittens? Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, actually, um, I try to do some. I don't do specific breeds um, like they do in Puppy Love um, because it's more about the mischievous activity of the kitten. So I try to allude to breeds, but they're not exactly specific. But um, I have done, you know, tabbies and Siamese, and I would like to get into some more, maybe like Scottish Fold or something. That would be kind of fun. So. Um, okay, so now we have some questions that are kind of just for everybody. So we'll kind of go through the go through all of you. So the first one is from Jeannie Enriquez, and she's from Sacramento, California. And she wants to know, uh, what do you feel was your greatest or most unique inspiration for a new ornament or series? So Nina, maybe this time we can start with you. I would have to say the cookie cutter Christmas that um, putting a scene inside of a cookie cutter um, just 
seemed like a fun idea and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it when I turned in the idea and I and then they accepted it and I was like oh my gosh now I've got to make this work so <laughs> actually Rodney helped with that because he actually grows the cookie cutter for me digitally and we make it we kind of fudge a little bit and make it bigger so I can fit all the little elements in there so I would say that's probably the one that that I would pick that's fun what about you Tom yeah, you know, I, I was racking my brain. Well, if Nina had just talked a little longer. Um, <laughs> because, Sorry. But I hate to keep coming back to beer, but, but <laughs> last year's beer, um, beer ornament, not the Stein, but uh, it was Santa driving a six pack with, uh, with, a, uh, with a team of bottles. And uh, I did that as a silly little drawing. And I, I'm still amazed that, that the Powers that be, let me do it, and and it still makes me laugh. I just think that was uh, that was a, a high water mark there. That for, one turned for, out hu for humor. At it least. turned out really nice. Yeah. I've got that one on my tree. I love it. But it is hard to answer those questions because there's there's so many that sure. But that one jumped to mind. So what about you, Rodney? I think mine was the Nintendo this year. You know, knowing. The, um, how Nintendo themselves wanted it perfect, and this is the 75th anniversary. I uh, give a lot of credit to Tony, the PDM. She really worked hard and did some tweaking, and and just to see that, I sent Tony a, a clip where it was in the paper, where um, you know it was one of the nostalgic uh, video games and. And, uh, you know, you just play it and not really remember the color. And here I am doing the ornament and getting the color correct and thinking all we did was just play the game, you know. And then uh, here just doing the ornament and it turned out perfect. I, I really like it. I, I liked uh, the way it, way it turned out, where the concept and everything. That one's got a, a lot of nice nostalgia to it. I yeah, love that yeah. one too. Okay, so here's another question for everyone, and this one is from Cindy Martin, and she lives in Ellicott City, Maryland. Um, and she's wondering, this one's fun, you guys, how many trees do you put up for the Christmas holidays? And what size are your trees? Are they like, you know, little two-foot trees or big six-foot or nine-foot trees? So we'll start with you again, Nina. Well, I have one six-foot, and then I have little ones like in the other room, so I guess three, three feet. Um, one in my guest room, one in my bathroom, and one in my studio. And then, but um, last year on my six foot tree, I did all birds. So um, of course I have all the beauty of birds and then I, I put a few of mine on there, but um, then I didn't have enough. So I started, you know, putting penguins and a few other things. I thought, well, that's a bird. So. <laughs> Flightless. Right, you know, it's still a bird. That's so. right. <laughs> What about you, Tom? Um, we have an eight footer um, and that's basically it. That's the main one. And I do have three like two foot size, but they kind of stay decorated and, uh, and just get them out of the box and set them up and they're kind of decor. But they're, the main tree is the single one that my wife Denise is a sewer quilter and she had done um, the tree skirt for it that we kind of collaborated on and she did all the sewing and that that you know a lot of times just the lights the tree and that tree skirt is all it needs but sounds nice what about you rodney how many trees do you put up in your home we put up a total of three trees one eight foot i think two four foot my wife puts one with all of my ornaments and then a collection of all the artist ornaments and then the eight foot have an assortment of pictures, ornaments, um, candy, <laughs> and I think that's it. I love that you guys have just as many ornaments as our collectors do. You guys love them just as much as the collectors. That's so fun. Okay, so next is from Eileen Sohn, and she is also out of Ellicott City, Maryland. And she wanted to know, um, do you decorate for the holidays other than Christmas using keepsake ornaments? So are there any other holidays that you guys decorate for with keepsakes? I do the, um, some of the collectors might know I had done, I worked on a Halloween village with buildings and characters that a number of the artists in the studio had done. And uh, I, I get that out each year. 
and uh, but that and that and the lights out front always carve the the pumpkin and uh, <laughs> and then stand out on the porch and wait for the kids to come. <laughs> What about you, Rodney? Any well, other holidays? Well, sometimes the Christmas trees never come down. You know, they <laughs> they stay up year round, so uh, they go right into Easter and and uh, whatever holidays between that. But yeah, sometimes it's six months in the year that the Christmas trees are still up. You know, the the four foot ones, not the eight foot. But sure. yeah, they they never come down. But I think if uh, you allow my wife, she she decorate. Uh, uh, for Valentine's Day, Easter, and whatever other holiday, even the Fourth of July, if you if you let her. But uh, I don't. I, I, and I, other than that, that's it. What about you, Nina? Any other holidays you like to decorate for? Halloween. Halloween. I bought a um, Halloween tree with all orange lights, of course, and um, that's going to be my uh, my my Halloween theme. So I have a lot of ornaments that I haven't really put on anything. I've just, you know, I display them when, uh, on the fireplace mantle when it's uh, Halloween, but this time I have an actual tree that I'm going to put them on because I have a lot of like Sharon's skulls and um, some of the other, the raven and actually, I, and I have a lot of antique um, um, like rattlers and things and stuff. And so I think Halloween's my second favorite holiday. Well, speaking Christmas. of Halloween, we have um, a question that's specifically for you about Halloween. So why don't we segue into that? Okay. So um, Michael Stokowski from Orlando, Florida, was wondering that several of your regular Christmas series have had special Halloween ornaments. So do you plan to do one for Mischievous Kittens? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should ask that. Um, <laughs> I would just say stay tuned, like. That's good and doesn't give away too much. Mm -hmm. So good answer. Just, so keep an eye out, Michael. Yeah, definitely <laughs> keep an eye out. <laughs> uh, okay, here's another individual one for you, Rodney. Okay. Um, this one is from Debbie Rubio and she's in Sacramento. She says, are there any more plans to make all the Nintendo consoles, you just talked about Nintendo earlier, uh, that have come out over the years? Is that something you'd like to do? Uh, oh, I'd, um, I'm going to do like Nina and say, stay tuned. You never <laughs> know. <laughs> you just don't know. But a good question. I think that would be fun. You've done that first one, so now you know what you're doing. We could right, maybe right, do a few others. Right. We'll see. Okay, Tom, this one's specifically for you as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is from Robin Foster. Um, from Elam's Magical Memories Maker Club, and I'm not sure where that is. It doesn't tell me on here, but I she think asked. I San Diego. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I. I'm, gl I'm glad yeah. that you know. Um, <laughs> she's wondering if you can give us a preview. Uh, these are all questions what, asking what's coming up next. I don't uh -huh. know, you guys. She's wondering if you can give a preview of the 2021 rain beer, if we're going to have a 2021 rain beer. Oh. Um. I'm afraid not. Okay. And, and the reason being is that we we took a uh, we took a break from beer to give the wine lovers a little love. So so there'll be uh, there's a wine skew for uh, ornament. Sorry. Wine's that, important that too. Skew is shop talk. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, there's a there's a wine ornament next year. So. Okay. But uh, you know you, you all know where my heart is. So. Well, and we like everyone else. Stay tuned. <laughs> we also have your beer stein ornament every year, so yeah. they can look for that if That's they're looking right. for a beer. And that, that, is a, that is a fact. That's good. Okay, so this one we're back to a question for everybody. Uh, this is from Nancy Copeland, also from Elam's Hallmark Memories Club, and she's wondering: Do you give ornaments you created as gifts to your family and friends? And maybe you could talk about like what you've given to other people in the past. Let's start with you, Nina. I give them everything, everything <laughs> I've done. <laughs> um, I, well, uh, like my sister collects the cat series, so I give her a kitten every year. Um, the window series, I'm really excited about the window series that's out this year because it features my little great niece, Jessica, and she doesn't know about it. So, oh. and she has her little pet piggy that I, I put in the scene. And also I had, um, her dad, uh, my nephew, write Dear Santa on it in her handwriting, and then I scanned it in. So that's her actual handwriting on the 
the, um, the, the little card on the table, you know, with the milk and cookies for Santa. That's so, so great. Um, She's going to love it. The only problem is, is she has a, a little sister a year and a half younger, and she's going to want one too. So I'm going to buy an extra one. And she looks just like her, but with blonde hair. So I'm going to buy an extra one and paint her hair blonde. So they both have something. <laughs> That's smart. That's smart. How about you, Tom? Do you give ornaments that oh, you make? I give tons of them. And uh, not all of them. I try to, uh, you know, not everybody gets all of them. But, but uh, yeah, if there's like a, you know, I'll do a fishing skew. And I, that's got to go to my brother. And, you know, and uh, camping. And, you know, of course, they, they get the beer stein, whether they like it or not. <laughs> and my brother's a guitar player. So he, uh, he gets the guitar every year. And uh, so, yeah, I, I buy more than my share. I bet, I bet. I what do. about you, Rodney? What do you like to give to others? Well, um, <clears throat> one that I almost broke me this year was the Mahomes jersey. <laughs> but that, that went yeah. like hotcakes. So I understand how the, our collectors feel about spending a lot of their money on, on ornaments. But thank you, thank you, collectors. Thanks for doing it. But uh, no, um, in all of my ornaments, my daughters collect, my wife collect, and um, I, I collect as well, but I, I give. I make sure all family members get one of my ornaments and one of the one whatever, whichever one they request that's not mine. And I normally pick that up, but uh, I, I do. I give out ornaments every year, and if I didn't, they would think something is wrong. So yeah, <laughs> they would they would wonder if you were still working right, here, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, I think everybody in the studio got one of those Mahomes ornaments yeah. because you know we're in Kansas City here, and we were pretty proud of our Chiefs this year. So we were excited about that Super Bowl win. So here is another one, and this is from Tina in Aspen Grove, it says. And it's saying, if you weren't a Hallmark artist, what kind of job do you think that you might be doing? And would you still be doing something artistic? Maybe we can start with Rodney this time. I'd, I'd, um, I'd be on the PGA Tour. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, yeah, that's where I would be. I'd be on the PGA Tour. I'd, I'd, I'd go pro. And, uh, <laughs> and that's where I would be. I love it. Yeah. I love it. What about you, Tom? Would you join him golfing? No. And, uh, <laughs> and golfers would appreciate the fact that I don't come out on the golf course. But uh, Rodney is good enough that 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 isn't as big a joke as it sounds. He's, I, I, he's I wish I was that good. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I aspire to be that good, but I would be on the sidelines watching the PGA, yeah. but if, if in my dreams, if I'd he be would, the PGA. If he would just listen to my critique of his swing, he'd be, <laughs> he'd be there. But. He'd be ready for the tour, right? <laughs> uh, what would you be doing, Tom, if it wasn't Good golf? What would Lord, you be doing? Lord, I don't know. Um, so thank goodness I have this this art talent because, uh, I, you know, I would hope that, you know, I'd be doing something artistic, as you said, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, if not, boy, I, I always had a huge love of history. Um, how I could have parlayed that into a career, I'm not sure. So again, thank goodness. <laughs> well, we're glad we have you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about you, Nina? What would you do if you weren't a Hallmark artist? Uh, well, I would be, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a veterinarian because I love animals so much. Um, the only thing is, is I'm allergic to most animals, so that <laughs> wouldn't work out so well. So um, I guess now I just sculpt them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for all of you, uh, this is Brandy in Aspen Grove is wondering how long have you all been creating keepsake ornaments? So we'll start with Nina. How long have you been making ornaments? Almost 26 years. I had my 25th anniversary in keepsakes last year. Woohoo! Congratulations! <laughs> so, yeah, 20, 25 and a half years. Okay, how about you, Tom? 16. 16 years. Yep. Okay. I had um, 21 years. Prior to that, in greeting cards. Wow. Okay. A, yep. So. And you, Rodney? Eighteen. Eighteen years. Yeah. All right. So you guys have been around a long time. You know what you're doing here in keepsakes. It's no wonder everybody loves you guys so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So another question. This is from Janice with the Rocky Mountain Ornament Club. I'm guessing that's over kind of in the Colorado area. Um, what is the process for how artists are assigned to design and sculpt specific elements of event pieces? So this piece that you guys each have sitting on your table, um, how does that process work? Maybe you guys can talk about it. Nina, do you want to start? 
No. <laughs> Tom, you yeah, Tom. Tom. Yeah, Tom I, and, he'll, and, he'll explain. And, how. I'll, and I can speak from experience because yeah, I, I was the lead right. on on last year's, so um, which was the Santa's house workshop, uh -huh. all in one building. Yes. Um, but you you start out with the concept, and I believe Edith. I hope I'm not wrong in saying I think that, you're right. that Edith mm -hmm. was. Uh, the main driver of that concept. And then, so once you get the idea, you know what it's gonna be, then, and you kind of rough things in, and then you assign, you don't assign, you you present to the rest of the studio, this is what we've all decided on, and so we'll literally have a sign-up sheet stuck outside your booth, and people come by and sign up for um, a specific piece. And then, you know, and then if you get to a point where there's some holes to fill or sometimes we'll gently ask people if they'd switch around, you know, just to cover all the bases, mm -hmm. but uh, that's. So have you ever had any uh, elbowing or fighting over certain certain spots on the piece before? No, thank goodness. <laughs> Actually, yes, we have, have because we? they put, they sent out an email, at least Edith did, and um, they sent out an email and then she, she says, okay, we're gonna post this at one o'clock and then you can sign up for whatever yeah. piece you want to do. And so everybody like rushes over there and <laughs> you know, if you get there late, it's like, oh darn, I wanted the horse or. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little bit of that going you on. You gotta be quick, I yeah. guess. <laughs> I gotta rock. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rock. All right, so I think that we have time for one more question, but before we get to that, you guys, we have a winner to announce. Remember, okay. somebody is gonna win this awesome piece from the clubs that I called out earlier. And that person, a little drum roll please, that person for this session is Gloria Osteen from Jan's Treasures Hallmark Collectors Club. Congratulations. So congratulations, Ooh, Gloria. Gloria. Well done. It's gonna be an amazing piece. So Gloria, all you need to do is keep an eye out on your email and somebody from our Keepsake Village will shoot you an email to figure out how to get that prize to you. Um, and so for our very last question, it's, it's kind of one of my own. I'm just gonna end with one of my own if okay. you guys are okay with that. So for my very last question, I wanna know what 2020 ornament are you guys most excited about? So we'll start with Rodney down here. The 2020 ornament. I think we're gonna get back to that Nintendo. That Nintendo, it, it was special. So um, yeah, I, I would say that one. That one's your favorite yes. this year. It's gonna be on your tree. Yes. Okay, yep. all right. Tom, how about you? You know, it's all about me. So, <laughs> so, so which so, one of your ornaments? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the safe. It's the safe way to go because if you pick somebody else's, then it's then it's like, well, why didn't you like mine? You know, so it's a safer one just to go with my own. But, That's true. You no, know, you know, I love my beer stein, but uh, but as I spoke to earlier about the 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 other beer skew, the uh, the rain beer that's coming out made out of. Um, beer bottles and a beer keg and all, that one makes me laugh uh -huh. and uh, so it might be a toss-up between those two. Well you can do two different yeah. beer skews that's totally yeah. fine. But the guitar you, you know this is tough because the guitar plays a kiss song you know that's we actually true. got kiss so anyway. <laughs> all right Nina so. your turn. Well, Last I wasn't gonna pick leave. one of my own but since they did I'll go ahead and do it too. Um, I like the uh, they're two little marshmallows that are camping um, and they look like s'mores because they have like chocolate hair and, and it actually lights up too. So that one doesn't come out till debut, but um, I, I was really happy with the way that turned out. It is a really yeah, cute one. Fun. And then of someone else's, although that's not an ornament, the, um, the bird clock. Oh yes. I just, yeah. that's just, that's it's gorgeous. Absolutely so. beautiful. Okay, well, thank you to everyone who watched today, to commenters. I hope that you won some of our fun signed giveaways today. And I also hope that you will come back and join us again at one o'clock. We've got three new artists coming in and we cannot wait to have you join us and um, answer some more questions and have some more fun. So bye everybody. Can you guys say bye? bye. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>